Okay guys, today we are going to look at the loading program using C. So most of the time we wonder how this thing works. Uh, we see a lot of this. Say when you are installing some thing from online or using uh, some package manager or in Linux, Mac or some command line installation. So yeah, let's go through through this so first of all you need to know some basic C say uh, loops strings and we have this code blocks ID I'm using 16.01 you can use you can download this uh, I'll put the link on the description so, First, open a new file. We need just loading C. Include stdi.h standard import for dot h. So, I don't need to. And write the base structure then printer hello okay let's let's test our code yeah it's fine so what we need to do is that okay let's see look this thing prints on a center not actually center let us assume that it's center so how can we go from here to here for this we are going to use a windows.h function name it as go to xy you can name it as you want then to use this we need to include windows.h windows.h so what it does actually card is a structure we all know that c is a procedural language not an object oriented but c has a uh, structure so card is a structure and x y are its properties so what it what it's doing getting the handle of the cursor and putting it into the coordinate so let's say go to x y Oh, let me mention you something else that you need to know some functions also so loop functions strings yeah basic things basic of C so go to XY say 50 on the X and 10 downwards then print hello let's see okay yeah see it's printing hello at 50 from X then 10 down here okay good. now we need to use a loop say for i equal 1 to i less than 1 10,000 100,000 would be good i plus plus and then this all things goes inside the loop now print yeah it's printing so we don't want to print hello we want to print characters characters as backslash or forward slash hyphen so we will use a iterator name as j then instead of Printing hello, we will just print a character. You can you can use put character or put ch. I am using printf for printing. So I am incrementing j so that it loops through this all characters. And then I need to check when j equal equal the length of the string. It starts from zero again. Again, 
strlen that is a string length is a function of string dot h so we need to include that one also string dot h okay and then now let's run it okay but it's a bit faster so we need to slow things down so how can we do that we'll make a load function it have void return type no parameters just a loop say int i for i equal 1 to i less than equal a big number say this big number so basically what these things is doing that it just looping through for this number uh, and taking some time say one second or 0.5 second just okay so we need to call this function after every time it prints so load and now okay uh, okay so increase it's still a bit faster so we need to add a zero and now run this let's check it now oh too slow actually it depends on your system okay okay it's okay now then there is there is this cursor we need to remove this cursor or hide this cursor so how can we do that we are also using a handle a structure like this called this is also from windows.h so name this function as hide cursor or whatever you want then call it at the very beginning and now build it again then run it yeah okay cool so and we, we need to print this loading thing after these characters so how can we do that just go to xy say 52 next to those characters and just print f loading okay so yeah that's it okay so this is for now in the next tutorial we are going to look how this progress bar works you can do this at your own if you practice this thing uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section